How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about Berkeley, California, which is in the San Francisco Bay Area, eliminating, quote unquote, gender terms in their city code. Now, this is really crazy. There is a list of these terms, and we get to that in a moment. But first, I got to explain why they're doing this. They're saying that they're trying to be more inclusive. I guess not every person has a gender. Maybe there's a trillion genders. Maybe gender does not even exist. Maybe they're trying to get away from the idea of gender altogether. But what they officially said was that they want to be more inclusive. Now, some of the terms are ridiculous. Uh, they're going to call a manhole a maintenance hole. You can't be a journeyman. You're going to be a journey. No explanation of what journey is. You're talking about a trip. You're talking about somebody that works. There's quite a few more, and I'll place those on the screen before you. Yeah, you're talking about a uh, bondsman that has to be bonds person. You can't say brother anymore. You got to say sibling. Chairman, you can't say that. You got to say chair or chairperson. Matter of fact, talking about chairman right quick. Remember this whole thing with the NBA where you can't even say owner. Now you got to say governor. I guess maybe even chairman will be out of the picture because that's too gender specific, but we'll move on. Um, fraternal. You can't say that you got to say social. So rather than the fraternal order of the police, I guess you would say social order of the police, but we'll keep going. You can't say heirs. You got to say beneficiaries. How is heirs a gender term? I had no idea. I thought it was just something that referred to anybody that was coming after those that came before. I didn't know that was a gender term, but we'll keep going. Uh, you can't say maiden. You got to say family. So I guess for your maiden name, you got to say family name because that, that refers to a woman. You know, what's your maiden name before you get married? as family name. OK. And then also uh, male and female. You can't say that. You got to say people of different genders. Now, how many genders are there? I have no idea. And maybe they don't want to kill gender totally just yet. But hey, that might be next down the pike and the ever so important city council meetings in Berkeley, California. But we'll keep going. Uh, like I said, uh, manhole has to be maintenance hole. <laughs> uh, manpower, you got to say workforce. Rather than saying master, like I guess master carpenter or something, you got to say captain, skipper, pilot, safety officer or central. Um, men and women, you got to say people. Uh Men or women, you got to say a single gender. Now, look, I'm offended by this. What if I identify as several different genders at one time? I identify as multiple genders. Let me get like 14 genders on my actual license, driver's license. You know what I'm saying? That's what I want to do. So this right here, I'm offended. Change it already. But let's keep going. Now, you can't say pregnant woman or women. You got to say pregnant employees. It's like, OK, if you're pregnant, then that means you're a woman. Men can't get pregnant. But I guess they're saying that gender, it doesn't really matter. Your biological gender, which you were born as X, 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 Y, that's irrelevant. You could be a man and get pregnant, I suppose. But we'll keep going. Uh, you can't say sportsmen anymore. You got to say hunters. Uh, sorority or fraternity has to be replaced with collegiate Greek system residents. Why so long? You should, say, you should be able to say frat or sore war or something like that. Now you got to have this big, long, you know, dictionary type of term. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> so it, so basically any little thing that may not be in this particular list, you got to just, you know, have it be non-specific to a gender. Basically, that's what's going on here. And there's much more. That was just a list. And I'll place that in the description box below if you want to read it. But there's much more on city forms. There must also be space for your preferred pronoun. So I guess, you know, zir, zir, zim, zil, zilch, whatever. You can have that on a city form. So I guess if you are applying for a, a driver's license or you're trying to get a permit for something on a city form, you could be able to have your preferred gender pronoun or I'm, I'm so confused now. I can't say gender. Can I say gender? Is that allowed? Is that OK? I don't really know, but we'll move on. Your preferred pronoun can be right there in the form. Now, my question would be, what is a penalty if you don't abide by these new rules? OK, because with rules come penalties and it's part of the city code. Will it be a fine? Will it be, you know, a, a deeper penalty than that? 
could you get locked up for it? Now, I doubt they would even think about trying to lock you up for not using the proper pronouns because people misspeak and they don't know what's going on and they might mispronounce. So it can't be any kind of jail time. But, hey, it is California and the Bay Area, so I would not be surprised if they were, but that's a pie in the sky. Would it be a civil penalty? Would it be a small fine? I'm not really sure what's going on. And also, how do you even know how to pronounce some of these pronouns? You know, you got some weird stuff out there that's just floating. I mean, some of the things right here don't even make any sense. You know, maintenance hole, who's going to call a manhole a maintenance hole? It's just, it's absurd. Now, I guess the main way this would be carried out is through your paperwork. So a bunch of forms that are probably already done with some of those words on it now have to be changed. How much is that going to cost? I guess it doesn't really matter. You are in California. Just spin, spin, spin on things that don't make any sense and have that be the case. Now, I'm reading some other articles about this. And they're saying that this is in Brooklyn, California, the birthplace of a lot of uh, liberal movements in the country this day. And the third, well, I think that Berkeley has pretty much gone off the edge. They have just jumped the cliff and dove into the abyss with this one here. And you're going to see more things like this all throughout the nation. Uh, Non-gender specific things. Uh, same thing with bathrooms. See, as I close, I want to say this. Some may say, yo, this is kind of petty. You're talking about just city forms and whatnot. But see, that's how the left starts. They get you on a small thing and you're going to agree with it. They'll say, oh, all you want to do is just change some of the city forms and that's it. You know, you won't be in any kind of trouble if you use the wrong pronoun or whatever. People say, OK, go ahead and do that. That's fine. It's a compromise. But no, then they're going to say, all right, well, we have it on the form. Now let's put it on the uniform, on your on your actual thing. And then since some people are in here that identify as these things by the stats we were able to gather from the city forums that you allowed us to have. Now we think we have a case to provide gender nonconforming restrooms. OK, let's turn the women's room into an all gender room or let's allow these big six foot eight, 300 pound uh, NFL players wearing a dress in the women's restroom because they identify as a woman with no kind of. DNA evidence, no kind of uh, sex change, surgery, nothing. You can just do whatever you want because we are an inclusive society. That's how these things work. Matter of fact, it was a guy over in UK that got charged with a sex crime against minors who wanted stuff like this. That you know, you got to be for inclusion and the gender neutral stuff. That's how these things operate. So that's why I speak on it, and I think it points towards a kind of culture over there that permits things like this to exist that permits the drugs be all over everywhere that permits the the lgbt stuff to morph into abusing other people hopefully it doesn't go too far beyond this silly thing with the forms but knowing california and knowing how that kind of culture operates this is just the beginning so that's pretty much all i got what say you do you think that these forms or the changes in the city code are ridiculous like I do. I mean, come on. Maintenance hole? Is that the best we could do, California? I mean, come on. Or do you think that this is a thing that is definitely needed? It's a pressing issue and it must be resolved no matter what. And it should be the same thing all over the country. Whatever your comments are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.